another quick announcement um, before this video goes. Uh, so, as I said yesterday, so I'm making this on a Tuesday, posting it to, so it's Wednesday. So, this was made yesterday, but it's being posted today, Wednesday. Um, I'm going to be working tonight, Wednesday night, and Thursday night on the Chase Elliott 2016 Michigan video for you guys. I'm going to try to put as much effort and as much time into it as I can to make it the best it can be. So for that, I'm going to make this today, and I had to pre-make it uh, due to time constraints and then just to give myself more time to make up that other video. Uh, it'll be posted Friday. It'll be premiered. It's just a matter of what time. So I'm putting a poll on Twitter for what time you want. If you want an afternoon, morning, uh, preferably not later, but if you want that, I'll put another option. You can put that in the comments, but I'm just letting you know there is a poll that I will be making once this video is uploaded, and you will have till Thursday night or Friday morning to decide when you want it. So yeah, that will be when I decide it. Uh, it will most likely be Thursday night that I will close the poll. But today, we're going to look at this. Joey Logano, why did he not move Martin Truex Jr. for the win? We're going to talk about the value of a win in this playoff system and the difference between the races from 2018's Martinsville and this year's Richmond race. So starting off, um, obviously the meeting, we know what that meant. Joey Logano was in no position last year to mess around and get second. He had to win. He was in a tight point situation on making it to Homestead, and he had to win to advance. Um, he didn't have to win, it would, but it would have been safer, whereas Truex had like a 30-point buffer. Um, so he ends up moving him. If we, if, let's just go through. Let's just watch that clip real quick. Looking for his first short track win as well as a trip to Miami to try to defend his championship. The 2017 champion. Will he get the bumper? Yes, he does. Here comes Legato. Legato on the inside. A drag race. They're sideways, and it's going to be Legato getting the win. So as you saw in that clip. Obviously, Logano, he didn't do anything absurd. He didn't wreck him. He didn't make him lose a ton of spots. He didn't kill his point standings. Truex still ended up making it to the championship four, but cost him a win. Um, so Truex was frustrated because he had raced him so clean those prior laps. And he said, I, if I race you this way, I expect to be raced the same way back. And he wasn't. Um, but obviously, for an important position, Truex was not happy. Logano was happy that he won. Uh, if you want that whole thing, I made a video on it back when the race happened. You can find it. I'll put it up here at the end of the video, most likely. But, uh, yeah, that's that. Um, just watching it here. I got it um, right here. But watching it, Logano had a... Uh, I don't know how much space that is, but he had a big amount of space he had to make up going into the corner to bump Martin Truex out, Truex out of the way. Um, so he comes out of turn forward. He's got, I don't know, what is that, a car length? Half car length between them. Goes in, has to rough him up, bump him a few times to get him out of the way, and then he has to shove him out of the corner, and that's how he wins the race. So, what does a win mean? So, a win in the current system that, okay, this is distracting me, I gotta pause this real quick. Um, the current system that we're in, a win means a lot. A win means five playoff points, which means when you start the playoffs, you got five points for a win. And in the playoffs, it means advancing to the next round, and then obviously you still get five points, and these points carry over. So usually Cup Series wins, they mean wins. It's like, oh, yeah, we won a race in the Cup Series, the best series that you can get. But now they put a little more value in a win. A win gets you in the playoffs. A win advances you in the playoffs. A win gets you points in the playoffs. So it means a lot. <laughs> and don't forget, you get a, a lot of money for winning, too. So that's that. And you get a pretty cool trophy, depending on where the win is. Um, this case, it was a clock, a giant grandfather clock. Um, but, yeah, so you get a big reward, big points reward, big standings reward. So it's worth a lot. The system we are in, wins mean so much for points. It's, I just said that all. But yeah, it means so much. And so drivers will do whatever it needs to take to get a win. So Logano, he already has a win in the bag this year. 2019, we're to 2019 now. We've moved on from the Martinsville thing. We've explained the significance of that. Martinsville 2019 spring race, ninth race of the season. You still got 17 till the playoffs. And you got 27 till the end of the season. You don't need to do anything absurd to make a rival. But at the same time, five points. Five points. Now let's watch the clip of Richmond when Logano could have done the same exact thing to Truex. Getting a big run off the top. 
It's all going to oh, come. Oh, he's going to get there. It's going to oh, come don't, down. Oh, don't give him the outside. It's going to come down to it right here. Oh, the Truex. Martin Truex up. makes that car wide. Short track win number one for Martin Truex and Choke Hibbs Toyota. So obviously Richmond and Martinsville are much different tracks. Martinsville is a, hot, a half mile with very narrow turns, very sharp turns. So you got to brake pretty hard. It's hard, heavy braking, slow turns. And it's Richmond's .75. It's not as narrow as turns. You can use multiple lanes. And it it's definitely a different track. That's my point. So you can, you can compare. You can say you can't really compare them. But I think you can. That's why I'm making this video. That's why I'm comparing them. Um, looking at it, uh, Logano, I'm going to play it real quick. He had the same amount of space, but for, he jumped to the outside because he thought he would have more speed, but that just gave Truex an opportunity to block him up top. So analyzing it here, Truex goes low anticipating what happened in Martinsville. He anticipates Logano to push him out of the way and go ahead. So he anticipates that he's probably holding on to the wheel left, making sure that if he gets bumped, he stays down. Logano surprised everyone by going to the top, in my opinion. And just looking at it, I think if Logano goes to the bottom, stays on the bottom, and bumps him out of the way again, he wins. So same situation, basically. Same space, same thing. Why didn't he do it? Is he trying not to make a rival? Is he trying to... Did something happen between Logano and Truex? And there's like post race, Truex said, I don't, I don't remember the exact quote, but it was basically, we're not cool. Um... So they might still have beef. Uh, they might not talk a lot. They might be mad at each other. They might not like each other. I don't know what it is. But maybe Logano was scared of something happening later in the season, like a wreck or something. But I think he should have gone for the win. Like I like Truex. I met him once. He's a really nice guy. So I root for him when I can. If Elliott's not running up front, I want Truex to win. Um, just because I really like him. He's a really nice guy and stuff. So I want him to win. But... If I was Logano, I would have done the same thing. I would have d gone down there, gave him a bump, nothing absurd, not wrecked him, uh, got a double check. There were no lap cars in the way. There were not any lap cars in the way at this time. Um, I guess Logano was fearing maybe that Boyer and third could have passed them both if he did something like that. But even if, Logano could still block Boyer. He had a few car lengths on him. Um... So I really don't know why Logano, I think he should have. He would have gotten five playoff points. Because let's say Joey Logano makes it to the playoffs. And let's say he's in the round of eight and misses the championship four by five points or less. And then he ends up winning Miami as a non-playoff driver. He's going to look back at this Richmond race and say, crap, maybe I should have pushed him out of the way to get those five extra points. That would have meant a lot. So, I mean, obviously you got a lot of regrets in life and your career and whatever. But I think Logano should have gone for that win. Um, it was not as significant as a race as Martinsville. It was not as big as a situation. It was not as necessary as Joey Logano's move at Martinsville was. But here at Richmond, I think he should have made the same move just for the long term. He's already got he's got a win and a few stage wins, so he's got eight playoff points already. Um, don't get me wrong, that's good, but another five... That means a lot in the playoffs, especially the system we're under. Because if you have a couple bad races, you could be an oof. That could be you can be in trouble. So, I think he should have done something. Write in the comments. Tell me what you think he should have done. If he should have done something, if he shouldn't, uh, maybe he just I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching this video. As I said at the beginning, go vote on my Twitter poll. I'll put my Twitter in the description. You can go vote on that poll to see if you want to go look at the video or not go look at the video see what time you want the video on friday i'll be working really hard on it get as much detail as much description as much footage as i can um i'm expecting it to be a good one uh it'll be premiering so you can come live chat i'll be there for the live chat no matter what time it is uh, i will make time for that even if i'm busy i will forcibly make time so yeah um Go check it out. Go check out the poll. Vote what time. And it's going to be a really good one. Uh, I'll show the thumbnail right now for that next video. So you can get a sneak preview basically.